Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Eric. Uh, it's Saturday, June 11th. Um, and I'm going to try doing this vlog thing again. Um, I, like I mentioned before, I need to start speaking more frequently. So I figured, you know, this is a good way to kind of monitor my progress. Uh, I think my voice has gotten a lot stronger from uh, the last time that I uh, was, was blogging. But uh, that was like a year ago or so. But um, yeah, there, there's a big difference. I'll, I'll, I'll search around for some uh, video of my uh, speech beforehand, but I honestly think it's uh, it has improved, and as well as a lot of a lot of other things. Um, I started physical therapy again, uh, probably about three months ago. You know, and we're working on walking with one crutch, and that that's actually going really well. Um, I'm starting to walk with one crutch you know, just, just around the house and whatnot, but I think soon I'm going to be ready to uh, make the jump to walking with the one crutch out in the community, so I need to go out more, so if anyone's up or hanging out or whatnot, let me know, and uh, you know, we can go for a walk or something, but um, yeah, like I, yeah, I'm rocking my old, uh, you know, strong people are harder to kill uh, t-shirt from my friend Dot. No, and uh, I, I always really identified with that message. So, shouts out to Diebot who created these t shirts. Uh, this one's getting kind of old and kind of nasty. So, um, yeah, definitely let me know, Die, if, if you're gonna you know, be creating more uh, shirts. Like this. If you can see it here, strong people are harder to kill. I totally agree with that message. But a lot of stuff going on. Um, my goal is to speak for at least five minutes for the block. So, you know, I'm just going to ramble on here. So you can turn this off if you want. Because, uh, yeah, I, I just need to talk, strengthen my voice more. And the best way to do that is to try talking and whatnot. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my old uh, PT school visor. This is from the University of Michigan Flint. Um, I definitely need some new gear, so all you Flint people, definitely uh, hit me up, because I, I want to I get some new stuff. I need some new t-shirts, a hat, or whatever. But um, yeah, uh, I, I am starting to get a little bit more involved in the uh, physical therapy world. So yeah, like I just, um, I think I mentioned this to you guys last time. I'm, I'm actually representing the uh, Michigan Physical Therapy Association, or th I think it's called the APTA Michigan now, uh, on their oncology re rehabilitation special interest group. So that that's pretty exciting. And last year, I actually was a member of the uh, APTA Oncology Balance and Fall special interest group. Um, Balance of all special interest here because I, I definitely feel like I can, can, can contribute some feedback on that. And we've got some pretty exciting things uh, in the works. Like we've got uh, other Balance of Falls special interest groups with the APTA Geriatrics and APTA, or I'm sorry, it's the Academy of Neurophysical Therapy uh, Balance and Falls special interest group. But the three special interest groups, we formed the Balance and Falls Tri Alliance, and um, yeah, we're we're going to be planning trying to do something around October for Physical Therapy Month, and uh, I'll I'll share that with you guys in in a in a future post. But yeah, we've got something pretty big in the works. You know, we want to make this a national thing, so you know, keep your eyes out for that, and. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's going to be really exciting. We're going to combine forces like Voltron and uh, try, try try to attack this thing uh, with balance and false issues. We want to unite everyone against, and just prepare, not against something, but we want to prepare everyone for, you know, the, the specific, you know, impairments so that, that comes with balance and false issues. So keep an eye out for that. And like I said, I got to practice my speech. So getting pretty close to five minutes. Um, just a quick update. I'm, uh, 
I'm starting to drive again, so look out. And I can totally understand where uh, survivors and, and cancer survivors and people with disabilities kind of feel isolated, you know, because, you know, there aren't very many options in terms of um, meeting other people and going, getting out and about. And, you know, honestly, I think that we need to, you know, look at the whole, the whole issue of isolation in those specific populations because, uh, yeah, I, I've definitely felt it firsthand. You know, it's it's like you're 12 again. You're you're pretty much reliant on other people to get you out and about. You know, and it's like you're, you know, driving. You know, that's something that people kind of take for granted. But, you know, driving is freedom. So, you know, I'm hoping to get my freedom back pretty soon. So, uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that. And, uh, yeah, I just realized that I should probably clean up my office here because there is a lot of junk lying around so hopefully the next time i post a video you know we'll, we'll have something and uh i don't know if you can tell but my hair is starting to grow out so you know maybe i won't wear a hat next time but i wanted to do this kind of like as a shout out to you know the all the physical therapy students at U of M Flint and all the faculty and staff who are now my colleagues so you know, this is kind of kind of a nod to them because, you know, I'm looking forward to collaborating with them and the whole physical therapy profession in the future. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, until next time, this is uh, Eric practicing my speech. Right. Thanks.